Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Friends, today we will see MCQ of Evidence Act, Part 5th. Friends, watch our complete video, like it, share it, comment on it. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So friends, we will see MCQ with answer. Question number 201. Definition of primary evidence has been given under dash of the Indian Evidence Act. Answer is option number B, section 62 of Indian Evidence Act. Question number 202. Motive, preparation and previous or subsequent conduct is dealt with under which of the following section Indian Evidence Act. Answer is option number C, section 8. Question number 203. Admission not conclusive proof but may stop it comes under. Answer is option number B, section 31 of Indian Evidence Act. Question number 204. Chapter 3rd of Indian Evidence Act is deals with. Answer is option number B. Fact which need not be proved. Question number 205. Which of the following section of Indian Evidence Act deals with public document? Answer is option number A. Section 74. Question number 206. Exclusion of evidence of oral agreement is dealt under. Answer is option number B. Section 92 of Evidence Act. Question number 207. Section 101 Indian Evidence Act declares. Answer is option number B. Whoever desires any court to give judgment as to any legal right or liability dependent on the existence of facts, which he asserts must prove that those facts exist. Question number 208. What do you understand by examination in chief? Answer is option number C. Examination by Examination of witness by the party who calls him. Question number 209. Which of the following section of Indian Evidence Act deals with admission? Answer is option number B. Section 17. Question number 210. Opinion of expert is dealt under. Answer is option number B. Section 45 of Evidence Act. Question number 211. Which of the following is correct according to section 61 of Indian Evidence Act? Answer is option number C. The contents of document must be proved either by primary or secondary evidence. Question number 2 tail. Section 113A deals with. Answer is option number B. Presumption as to abatement of suicide by a married woman. Question number 213. Presumption as to absence of consent in certain prosecution for rape is dealt under. Answer is option number D. Section 114A of Evidence Act. Question number 214. Which of the following section of Indian Evidence Act deals with evidence as to affairs of state? Answer is option number C. Section 123. Question number 215. Order of production and examination of witnesses is dealt under. Answer is option number A. Section 135 of Evidence Act. Question number 216. The Indian Evidence Act came into force on. Answer is option number C. 1st September 1872. Question number 217. Section 8 of Indian Evidence Act deals with. Answer is option B. Motive, preparation and previous or subsequent conduct. Question number 218. Generally, dying declaration are admissible <coughs> as evidence under. Answer is option number C. Section 32 of Evidence Act. Question number 219. Which section of Indian Evidence Act deals with the admissibility of electronic record? Answer is option number C. Section 65B of Evidence Act. Question number 220. Which is not included in the term of court? Under the Indian Evidence Act, answer is option D, arbitration, arbitrators. Question number 221. Definition of primary evidence has been given under of the Indian Evidence Act. Answer is option number A, section 62 of Evidence Act. Question number 222. Which section of the Indian Evidence Act deals with the burden of proof as to particular fact? Answer is option number C. Section 103 of Evidence Act. Question number 223. Which section of the Indian Evidence Act deals with fact judicially noticeable need not be proved? Answer is option number B. Section 56 of Evidence Act.
क्वेश्चन नंबर 224 व्हिच सेक्शन ऑफ इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट डील विद लीडिंग क्वेश्चन आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी सेक्शन 141 ऑफ एविडेंस एक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 225 व्हिच सेक्शन ऑफ एविडेंस एक्ट डील्स विद प्रेजम्पशन एज टू डाउरी डेथ आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए सेक्शन 114 ऑफ एविडेंस एक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 226 व्हिच सेक्शन ऑफ इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट डील्स विद ऑर्डर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ विटनेसेस आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए सेक्शन 135 ऑफ एविडेंस एक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 227 ए प्रोसिक्यूशन विटनेस बाय वीवी ए एनडीटीवी न्यूज़ फिल्म आइडेंटिफाइड द अक्यूज्ड एज अ मेंबर ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ पर्संस हु हैड कॉज सीरियस पब्लिक डिस्टरबेंस The original film was retained by NDTV and at trial the prosecution relied relied on the video cassette which the court was satisfied was an authentic copy of the original film the evidence answer is option number A is admissible as the rules for submitting primary document cannot be extended to films question number 228 in which of the following circumstances will section 71 of evidence act 1872 not apply answer is option number b in case out of two attesting witnesses one fails to prove the execution of the will question number 229 which of the following statement hold true under the provision of section 73 of evidence act answer is option number c court can call upon the accused to give his writing in court Question number two thirty. Which of the following document is not a public document? Answer is option number A. Registered power of attorney. Question number two thirty one. Marriage certificate. Answer is option number C. Is of great evidentiary value in family matters. Question number two thirty two. A letter purporting to be issued from the chief secretary to the government of Bengal was signed by deputy secretary. not in his official capacity but for the chief secretary the court answer is option number d cannot draw a presumption under the provision of the indian evidence act that the document is an authorized document question number 233 be executed a power of attorney in usa and submitted it as evidence in punjab and haryana high court the power of attorney was not authenticated by the indian consul or any other relevant indian authority in us the relevant laws in the united states about the power of notary public were also not cited the authenticity of the power of attorney answer is option number c cannot be presumed under section 85 of the evidence act question number 234 under the provision of indian evidence act which of the following presumption can be made with regard to telegraphic messages answer is option number b means first and third first is that the message was received as it was sent third that the message was delivered to the address on the date indicated there on question number 235 be used to recover 1/4 of the price of the house alleged to have been sold by the a to c the proper registered sale Sale date is available. The claim is based on local custom. The transaction between A and C was ostensibly not a sale but a usufructory mortgage. He wants to give oral evidence in support of this. Which of the following statement will be true for the case? Answer is option number A. B is not a party to the transaction between A and C as such he is entitled to give evidence so friends thank you